that's one thing that we don't do. We don't try to hurt each other's feelings. Like we don't try to, when we're arguing, we don't try to say things just to win the argument and make the person get upset. Like we, we'll deal with the issue. You know, if I slap me, if I say anything wrong. But like when we argue, Dang, we you argue. get real soft when she come around. I've yeah. never seen this yeah, type of yeah. submissive energy. <laughs> he like toned it down a yeah. little bit, right? Hey, he's he 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 gonna stick, stick his fingers in your mouth. Yeah, and he's telling her to slap him. And drag hey, that hey. around <laughs> by his bottom jaw. You all right? But, but bro. If you're in trouble, just blink. <laughs> but, but just to y'all's point, now y'all y'all got on me. Bro, but that's my wife. Like, the the message that with, with this whole thing I want to send, bro, which you about to start, and y'all are married men, bro. That's my wife. This is my wife. Like it's 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 more important than everybody in this room. It's more important than and it's crazy to say than our kids, and it's wild, right? We can make more kids. We can't make this. Mm. Mm. We have three kids now. Honestly, now, and I know it's crazy to think about. If we're on the boat and, you know, something's going crazy and, and one of my kids are floating that way and my wife is floating that way and I can't save both of them, mm. who do I save? Bro, the real, the real answer, the only answer is your wife. And I love... She's going to tell me to save yeah, the women kids. Women always say that. Me, she would say they, the same They thing, always will, bro. Yeah, but real. we have three kids. We can make four kids. We can make five kids, six kids, seven kids. I got a vasectomy. I can't make nan kid, but I get them to fi figure out something with my balls. <laughs> <laughs> but the point is that we we could make we could create more kids, but I I swear to God, you can never create. Yeah. Okay, but here. Her. No, 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 no. I, I could never create. I could never create her. What's going on, my friends? This is King Solomon here with another video. I had to talk about this man because I was watching the I Am Athlete uh, podcast. And uh, it's a good podcast. I'm going to say that just right off the bat. You know, it's a good podcast. But it's something that really stuck to me. And I've watched a couple of the episodes, right? <clears throat> they got good content. But this guy, I think his name is uh, Channing Crowder, right? Channing Crowder. That's his name. Light skin dude, right? This guy, Channing Crowder. I mean, this is not the first time I've seen certain comments that he's made. And I'm just like, I see what you're trying to say. Like, you ever see somebody that like, you know, it's like a friend that you have or whatever growing up and he's trying to put forward a point. But the way he does it, it just he just says something just way left. It's just like, whoa, OK. All right. That's this what he does. Right. Because he starts off by saying how much he loves his wife and saying she's more important than anybody in the room. Da, 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 da. I got I get that. I understand that. Right. There's nothing wrong with professing your love for your queen, for your woman. Right. Especially that's your wife. Right. But here's the thing. The next statement he makes just is what propels him. Like, you know, he just jumps ship with it. Right. He just goes overboard. He goes on to say that, you know, if it had to come between one of his kids and his wife, and he could only save one. He's going after saving his wife because they could make another kid, but he can't remake her. And I'm just looking at that and I see people in the comment section. You know, I always read the comments, right? And so I see brothers in the comment section like, yeah, you know, I've been married for 10 years and blah, blah, blah. And then they try to like legitimize it and try to make sense out of nonsense. And I'm just like, it, it doesn't make any sense. Right. It just doesn't make any sense. Um, here's the thing. As a king, your number one priority is your offspring. Your princes and princesses. That's your number one priority. That's your only priority. You see, as a man, right? As a man, your first obligation is to your purpose. That's your first, your goal in life is the purpose that you have on the earth. That is your number one priority, right? You see, when you now have a fa as a single man, that's your goal as a single man. 
when you become a married man or a family man, right? When you become either a man, uh, a married man or a family man, now your purpose expands because now your purpose is your family, but more specifically your children, because that's your seed. That's your lineage. That's the extension of yourself. That's going to go on into eternity. That's your number one priority, not your wife. Right. And her job. Right. And her number one priority when she becomes your wife, when she becomes the mother of your your children, her number one priority is to your children, is to extending your legacy. That's her number one priority. Right. So even and it's so funny because if you watch, continue watching the rest of the clip and the rest of the episode, even she kind of turns when he says that and kind of like chuckles like, yeah, but I'm going to save my kid. That's how the women because the women are going to do that. That's their biological nature. And as a man, that's what you're supposed to. You're supposed to think like that. If you read any history of the kings, any kings, the kings of Egypt, ancient command, um, um, Nubia, kings of Assyria, Babylon, Rome, the emperors of Rome, Chinese dynasties, uh, England, right? No matter who you read, it's the same type of thing. The first um, priority is for the children. You can get another queen. And her number one priority is to your children as well. So this foolish advice... This foolish, uh, you know, I don't know what even to call it, right? But this is foolishness. Men, your number one priority is to your God-given mandate, right? You're supposed to subdue the earth and replenish it, right? Okay, you could say, oh, there's a lot of people, but you're supposed to have your seed extend and carry on into generations. That's your number one priority. So all of these people, I saw some of them in the comments saying, well, the Bible says that you're supposed to focus on your wife. And that's not what it says, right? That's not what it says. If we want to go there, that's not what it says, right? All right. So a lot of people I find that in this generation is that they're trying to, I don't know if it's to, it's because of the climate that we're in and everything is so like, I want to make this so soft and whatever, but I don't know, man. I just, I'm just confused by this, man. And a lot of people, y'all need to know where you're taking your advice from. You know, this is not the true, this is not that true male reasoning right here, right? This is not that true male reasoning. And, um, man, I don't know what to say. I really don't know what to say. Y'all need to stop taking advice. Uh, from a neutered lion and uh, that's all I'm going to say on that what he said was totally wrong and it's totally false and uh, you know that's not how real true lions are supposed to operate but anyway I think I've said enough on that one but um, let me know what you think I want to hear what you got to say in the comment section down below Uh, thank you for listening thank you for watching please share this video to a brother that probably needs to hear this right share this to a brother who's a family man and so he doesn't get the perception that you know he needs to <laughs> if, if there was a situation he needs to choose his woman over his kids who's his seed right all right brothers i'm gonna co- talk to you guys later king solomon i'll catch you on the next one who's you ever you talk, that is, that, that's known to play in the NFL, like just bad boys, you know not to try. So it's interesting to see how when you come around or in your relationship, he's soft as hell. You soft as hell around Asia, bro. And, and that's the, not the Channing I know bro, like in football, and, in yeah. the locker room. And it's the only one that could do it.